Alright everyone, welcome back to Season 5 of the Discord Cup. We have a round of 64 match between Sruman and Italippi. Right, yeah, okay, that's how I pronounce that. Italippi. Um, Crab vs. Phoenix. This is currently before the Phoenix pack is released, so this will be the last, uh, you know, this event and the LCQ will be the last events with the... with the... with the... out the Phoenix pack. So, we're seeing the dark times. So, pretty standard Phoenix with Dragon Splash. Uh, we do see two Supernatural Storm uh, instead of Katanas. I personally would prefer these to be Katanas. But, you know, obviously with the new pack, these will be better with uh, the new Stronghold. Uh, you know, two Censure. He's playing Charge because he's playing Kaede and Sukune. You know, pretty standard Satoshi uh, Conjure District package because that card is dumb. Three Shrine Maiden, three Cloud of the Mind. Pretty standard list. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. And then we go ahead and look at. Uh, actually, we see before the throne on the Prawn's row is a little weird. Before the throne, public forum, meditations, shameful. I mean, other than shameful, that row is so weak. Uh, very easily farmed. And then for uh, Sruman, we see. Uh, Crab Unicorn with. He's got one Intimidating Hida, two Hiruma Yojimbos, two Crisis Breaker. So, slightly slightly different dynasty than we were used to seeing, but he's got Satoshi plus Karata District. Obviously, this isn't the matchup for it. Two Assassination, three, three Way of the Crab. Uh, two Policy Debate instead of three. Two Mountain does not fall. And then he's not playing a Gaijin Customs, he's chosen to play the second Talisman. Or, I'm sorry, the third Wayfinder. Uh, only down, only two watch commander, so uh, you know, I like three, but pretty reasonable to play two. So yeah, you just gotta make sure to stick them on the right characters. Tell the players that they are good to go. Grab joking leaf of the cast. Yo, what up? Hey, what's up, dude? Good. Just uh, ran through the decks. Uh, pretty pretty standard lists. We got Crab Unicorn and uh, Phoenix Dragon. Yeah, it's uh, some previous level deck building, I would say. Yeah. But Look, sometimes what, what, sometimes you just gotta scrap your plans and go back to the foundation. Yeah, I mean they're both really powerful, right? Like you shy away from cards like a Fate Worse Than Death, but cards like Cade and Sukune are super strong and we're in the original deck list for a reason right and same with yeah you know, it's like spyglass and talisman it's so. just it's just metro specific right like maybe maybe this is like the, the circular meta where because you know maybe scorpion is slightly less popular now because of all the cranes so you kind of go to for the bigger characters i don't know yeah exactly yeah let's see we got one two three four five there's only like ten scorp or like twelve scorpions as opposed to like twenty. So, <laughs> all right. So players are in the game. Looks like they have not resolved the die roll yet. Yeah, no haughty magistrate is a really big deal. Uh, as Eric points out, the the one of the big reasons I think Phoenix players cut that is one, um, it just doesn't work with Satoshi when you're tr specifically trying to tutor Contra District. <laughs> Right. Like, you just want to hit Kondo as Kondo. fast as possible? You just want to hit Kondo. So, yeah, I think, you know, it's it'll be a pretty standard match. As long as Crab doesn't, you know, fall victim to uh, the snowball that Phoenix can provide, right? Of yeah, Prodigy. like on Honor Prodigy. Like, kind of like Dragon, right? Like Honor Prodigy of the Waves, just getting into conflicts, breaking twice. In yeah, with and then in against the waves, and so all of a sudden they're in all four conflicts, and yeah. everything's terrible. Um. So Sruman loses the die roll. I really like. I think going second as Crab is so like it's it's, it's so much better because one one obviously going second is just is just stronger. Uh, it just economically, and then also the uh, ability to play like Mountain does not fall while going second is huge. Yep, agreed. I mean, one of my favorite buttons is past conflict on yep. turn one <laughs> and when you go first you 
just it's not nearly. You just don't get to attack, really. Yeah. So, if uh, if Italepi goes for the Satoshi play, he could get destroyed by a assassination wave of the crab. Uh, you know, it is it is crab unicorn, so he's playing two two x assassination, three x wave of the crab. So, and we see, and we yep. see him buying two small characters. Yeah. So, to me, he goes uh, for three small characters actually. Interesting. So I was gonna say I was gonna point out that if he went for Satoshi now, he could have gotten Fate Phase Wave of the Crabbed, but now he's just he's just decided to go wide. Yeah, which I think is fine. Solemn Scholar can do a lot of uh, mind games to a crab player, right? Because you want to claim the Earth Ring, but you have to play around display power. Yeah. And with, with Solemn Scholar out, if you get your Earth Ring displayed and then hidden turned on, it can really shut down a turn. So. Wayfinder finds a meditations. Gives him a a decent path to attack here, but again he's going into a potential display of power, so the poke attack is not always how you want to open these games. Yeah, it's really tough, uh, especially especially with that might be why he maybe didn't play Satoshi, is he wanted to hold up a, uh, you know, a minimum two fate. Yeah, which I think has a lot of value, even if you don't have it, right? I mean, play like you got it. The problem with, uh, yeah, the problem is if you don't attack, is that the Shurudusuki, you need, you want, you really want to get that Shurudusuki trigger. Yep. So he attacks Meditations. Uh, he needs to be careful about this uh, Sako Diplomat, giving, giving a conflict of victory, and maybe honoring the naive student for a strong attack. You know, honor naive student is six is six uh, six strength just uh, <laughs> with the stronghold. Yep. I think he's got one, two, three, four, five. He's got seven in defense with the guardian. Oh, this makes sense now. So he charges Satoshi. Charges. Interesting. Now he can activate Satoshi actually. And he can uh, he can get a debate off if he wants here too. Yeah, this is pretty solid. I think that Superman is probably as committed as he wants to be. Wow. Throws a fury out. Well, he he wants to win, right? So he has to. He was sure. tied there. If you're true man, do you just do you throw anything else into this conflict? I mean, I don't I don't know. No, I'm I'm all done here. I think. Yeah, and so true man does pass. So he's probably gonna honor his naive student, if I had to guess, just to do a really strong political attack. Yeah. He could honor the diplomat if it was going to stick around. Okay, yeah, and he does honor the student. So we might see a political political earth here, maybe? I I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're flying blind into if you hit shameful display. It's not that bad, right? Like, you don't have any keepers, so you, you just give up You give up one fate. But if you win, you, you get to blunt any, any counterattack. I mean, I, I, you yeah, could go fire, fire too, fire. right? Like, like it's it's fire, earth, and, and air are the big ones here. Or if you want, you could do uh, water and stand Satoshi. Yeah, I would. I guess I could consider a water. I don't uh, think he, there's he not a, used a Satoshi yet, Dan. Well, he could do water, right? And then if he Satoshi's and hits keepers, that could be huge, right? So maybe yep. political water is actually the best thing. Yeah. Oh, but we see political earth, and he doesn't need to run into shameful display. He hit shameful. Man, we're we're really good at this casting. <laughs> I just I I honestly think I mean unless I'm I'm tapped out with no fate, like you should almost never attack or throwing into a crab. And we see a watch commander come down. Yeah. So does does Italy have a let go and an assassination? That would be a really strong play here. 
He's got a reprieve, so he'd have to let you, go. You let go of the reprieve and then you assassinate, so you'd lose five honor on the conflict, but you'd break. <laughs> I don't know. I trade five. I trade five honor and, and the uh, and discarding the character. Yeah, I know you would, but <laughs> like here's uh here's where Iron Mine would have been just sick, right? Like I love Iron Mine with True Dusuki. It gives you a trigger for your activation and it just protects you from assassination. Yep. Here we go, shameful. Maybe, maybe he's just he's just off it here, and he's just gonna give up. He has to make sure to use his uh, Shurudusuki. Yeah. I think water actually was the best, the, the right call with with the Satoshi activation. Now that I think about it, um, yeah, obviously, exactly. obviously the Scholar is is a, is a great a great tool once you have the Earth Ring, but the ability to potentially surprise Keeper or somebody. So we see. I wonder. So if Italy commits the box here for an attack, he could potentially not win favor. Yeah, I don't like using the crab box before I use Shuri CP. He hasn't used it yet, has he? No, and I want to see what I'm getting. He agreed. Right, because if you find another wayfinder, for example, you play it in, and now your box doesn't affect it. So. Wow, he let goes the fan. Let goes the fan. Oh my. Why not let go the watch commander though? It does the same thing. <laughs> That's I, I I wouldn't I don't agree with that line of play there. Um, you know, letting go the watch commander gives you still the conflict win because you're tied. Yep. Um, I'm I'm obviously not you know be, having played so many tournament matches recently, like you can just mess up like dude, ner nerves are high like. You know, this oh, is for, this is the first cup for Adelepi. You know, uh, he's getting his game streamed. Like, it's definitely you know sometimes sometimes you make something. Maybe he has a second let go. Who knows? But I definitely think the watch commander was priority number one. Uh, you know, the re reprieve if you have an assassination, which it doesn't look like he does. Right. And we see Struman. Oh, Wait, use... Struman does not use Trudusuki. Oh, that's killer. That's that's rough. Yeah, I think there is some some math. I do it myself, and I still think watch commander was the correct target, but. Sometimes you do the math where you go, all right, he hasn't used Shurujusuki yet. If he finds, if I let go of the Watch Commander and then he finds and plays a Wayfinder, then I'm losing the conflict. Hey, what's up, Nomen? So, so you just end up hedging like the most possible points. Well, off the, the thing board. is, you're still winning if you let go of the Watch. If you let go of the Watch Commander, and so if you let go of the fan and he Shurujusuki's into a fan or core games, it's the exact same thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the only play that you could Yasuki into that would make a difference is Wayfinder. Yeah, Superman points out that he forgot to use his Yasuki. Uh, yeah, Nomen, uh, we just saw a bunch of small characters being being bought out. Uh, we saw Turn 1 charge, uh, charged out the Satoshi to win a conflict and honor his, uh, naive student. And now we see a Shrewd Yasuki tooled up. Uh, the action got forgotten. That's about, that's about all that's happened so far. So a Bonsai here will break. Um, he should he should probably move his his Shurusuki in. First action, slide the Yasuki in exactly. And, and then this, he, can honestly, he can use it. Oh no, he can't he use, use it, it now. Oh, because he's gonna use the, the whole. Yeah, now. he's gonna use the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awkward. He does it anyway. I mean, it's definitely what you should do. You absolutely do it. Yeah. But it is he awkward. Discarded the, <laughs> he discarded the rebuild off of the Earth Ring, so he can't rebuild it to get a trigger. Wow, why does why does Italippi use his? Oh, yeah, he's contesting fire. So this is a mistake on Italippi's part. Now, now Sturman can use his Yusuki. Yep. So you shouldn't. You sh he should. He should not have. So Mia Satoshi can only hit Mia Satoshi or holdings, and you have two holdings that you can hit. So potentially you're giving. Oh, your... and Sturman passes again. No, Sturman, please. No. no. Use Suki. Use use Yusuki. Uh, it is it is a really awkward thing. It is a it was a really awkward thing. So, uh, Shruti Suki and Kaiyu Shuichi both have their abilities say any holding, while Hida Guardian says only your holdings. So it is kind yeah. of awkward having the all you know all these holding cards, but two of them be different than one. Yep. It is. And so this is the bonsai to break. That's the bonsai. He doesn't need to kick it. Um, you know, if if Sumi has a conflict character here, that would be huge, right? You stop the break. Maybe he'll use yep. Yusuki now. Yeah, I was going to say, he's no. got a way to find one. Oh. Oh, no. Alright, well, look, this is why we record the games. Everyone everyone, everyone gets a chance. 
to go back and, and see, you know. Alright, so, obviously, turn one, huge win for Phoenix. Um, you know, he's pitched some cards, got the palace online now, so Crab's just never going to win favor, ever. Yep. And now we see he's going to gain an honor back from the student, draw a card. So he's I think I would have honored the diplomat instead of dishonoring the Yasuki, but... We'll see that maybe I, yeah I think so right because one going to neutral doesn't do anything whereas honoring allows you to use your box for additional stats but then, uh, maybe he's thinking because the character is reprieved it's going to last longer yeah I guess, yeah that's I that's, that's, that's like the, the argument I guess yeah interesting but yeah so. I think you I think you want all the incremental honor you can get in this matchup and so you just want your honor guys interesting dying. that he plays adapt one and then uh, and prodigy one I would have thought maybe Adept 0, Prodigy 2 would have been better. Yeah, I think Prodigy is certainly one so, of the ways that this game gets out of control for Phoenix, but I see a Vanguard Warrior play. We're seeing, a, we're seeing, we're seeing a Way of the Crab here. Way of the Crab. I don't love it. In the he he must, I mean... The problem is Centro is on right now, and there are two Centros. But, like, I would just hack yeah. the... I would not Centro anything. I would just hack the Diplomat. Yeah, and that's what and that's what we see here. I mean, it's it's plus value, right? Because uh, because of the Caillou Envoy being the sack target? Yep. Yeah, I guess you definitely need to respect the charge on Casada with the Vanguard Warrior out play. So, if you have Centro, it is the time to hold Centro. Yeah, yeah, you don't censure you don't censure the way of the crab there. I'm saying that uh, later in the turn, if you go for like an assassination way of the crab, then the way of the crab will get censured. But now you need to right. censure charge uh, charge for Casada, and so he's actually just going to attack Casada province. Political attack, maybe political water, but that's not a great attack actually. Oh, he coverts the Yusuki. Yep, he gets to covert Yusuki. Yeah, so this is pretty strong. Hits manicured, and now uh, Casada's. Being threatened here. Yeah, I think you need to stave off this break if you can. It's pretty tough, but it's going to be t even even more uh, even tougher, I guess. Because so you can block with the Vanguard. The problem is the Vanguard Warrior needs to sack it to give a fate to Yusuki, so it doesn't get bowed by the Water Ring. This is a kind of a right. snowballing board state here, so. Uh, you know, the water ring is just absolutely lined up to be perfect here, right? Like, it's, it threatens both characters, it has a keeper, it has the prodigy. <laughs> yeah, this is tough. I think Sherman needs, you know, if he's got a rebuild, he does have access to that favorable ground. That, that would be that would be probably a play that I would make, uh, you know, and yeah. hopefully use my Yusuki. No, yep. he, he, chooses not to, he chooses not to defend. First action sacks to the Yusuki. As a wayfinder. So they're just going to trade boxes here? I would assume so. The Phoenix box and the Prodigy is really, really strong. Um, you know, being able to give it plus two. all phase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sruman really needs a court games here. A core games of his own. Yes. Yeah, if he has a core games in response to the box and it resolves, then he's in a much better spot. He, if he can save. <laughs> Interesting. So pitches assassination. So both assassinations are gone. So Superman no longer has to play around assassination. That's really good information. Yep. Uh, he does actually find a supernatural storm, which is currently plus two plus two.
Yeah, I like seeing those in the build. You know, it's not a card you want three of, but with Shrine Maidens, it's additional redundancy that you can find it. And they're usually worth, I would say, plus two, plus two on average, which is super reasonable. Skirmisher. So for me, the attack here is to covert Adept of the Waves. And attempt to force an Earth Ring. I think the only chance he really has of not getting double broke is to force this prodigy into a defense and so yeah on the adept right and make him block with the prodigy you yeah. can attack and be he already found before the throne so he's got a safe attack one uh, trade on this uh the skirmisher what do you think about that like obviously normally that signals way of the crab but the problem is that uh this keeper initiated blocks that yeah i just do that I mean, honestly, if you're up on, if you have fate in the bank, I don't think it's a terrible play. I mean, having an additional body just in the next turn on defense, it represents two for a military defense. I, I think it's totally fine here. He needs to, to not die. That's right. right. This is... <laughs> yeah. So... He makes the attack. This is good. Uh, freeway 73, the Phoenix Splash. Oh, okay, Dragon. Uh, Dan, Dan got it. Cool. Contesting Earth. Uh, this The way that Italipi is defending here is t tells me he has uh, Fury. Yeah. Hey, thanks, uh, thanks, Phoenix Fox, for the bits. Just showing, showing that that good for nothing bit metal. What's up? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is this is a term, you know, prodigy of the waves, just doing its thing, you know, doing its best, neat and master impersonation. So we've seen assassination attempt on the keeper, and now we see the censure come out. The box has not actually been used. Um, I find it interesting that Idolipi chose to play the Shrine Maiden instead of boxing the, uh, the Prodigy. Yeah. So here's the Bonsai coming out here. Now... If he's got the... Yeah, yeah there's the one the fate. Fury. Yep, yeah. yeah. The, the way he, just the way he defended the Screamed Fury to me. Yeah, I agree. And now a conflict character can't uh, can't do anything because he has a, a military favor. I think there's no way to prevent a second break here.
so we should see a military void attack with the prodigy. Uh, he could air actually, and then he could start choking honor by uh, by bidding one. Yeah. And he's already run into. Uh, basically, he just needs to avoid meditations. We could see him send just the pro uh, the adept in actually and hold the prodigy. Uh, just to, just to you know dodge meditations. Yeah, he can't. You know, I think as the phoenix player, I want to be on the box next turn. I mean, I want to threaten a break. That's here. fair. So yeah, then 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 military military prodigy. Uh, yeah, and he goes for the air. He does hit the meditations. He goes for air. So, okay. uh, but you know, if if Surian doesn't defend, he goes down to three honor. He does, but honestly, I, this is why I want the void ring because now Surian's actually in a spot to attack back. He can just not defend, attack back for void, and, and then it's void the add up. The yeah, player with just a keeper on the board. That would be that. That would you know if if that happens, that's that's what it's gonna take. You know, I've yep. seen I've seen crabs win win defending their stronghold many many times. <laughs> yeah, the crab can dig in, and he's got he's got a decent board. I mean, the Shrujusuki is now going to stick around for a couple turns because you still got that reprieve on it. So you're going to see a political. All right, Sruman, please use your Shrujusuki. That's how you're gonna. <laughs> that's how you're gonna end up. You know, being able to to win this game is getting cards. Right, you're going into a bid one situation pretty quick here, so it's nice to have additional card draw. It's almost like why you run the guy. Yeah. Uh, it, it does, Nomen, but like, look, when, when you're losing the game, you need to, you, you still need to try and, you know, wh what's the quote that I had? Uh, I'd rather win, win the game you than lose the game. <laughs> you know what's kind of funny here? Is if... If the Phoenix player has a fan... <laughs> on this before the throne attack, he could not block. Oh, and just and put, put him to one? Fan on Yasuki and put him to one. I'd probably do that. Then I can win via air ring or, uh, or breaking. Yep. Oh yeah, the quote is, winning is preferable to not winning. There we go. Done. <laughs> MD 2018. Yep. Oh yeah, no, he has a supernatural storm. We know he has a supernatural storm. Oh, you're right. You're right. And yeah, so this is going to put him to one. Uh, actually, this is something that Superman should have should have played around. He, he, knew, he knew he had it. Yeah. I think, uh... Oh, he discards Kondro! Oh! <laughs> High roll. All right. I'm going to get on my soapbox as as per usual. <laughs> uh, Is this a Satoshi sequencing? No, it's box? it's a discarding a face-down card against a keeper roll. Oh, yeah. So... For sure. Obviously, obviously, this... So everyone's going to be like, but he just discarded a Kondro district. Look, results-oriented yeah. thinking... Results-oriented thinking aside, what you should do is... <laughs> Specifically against keeper clans and like crab and stuff, uh, you know, lion discarding face down cards is just you is uh, the more t more so a negative than a positive. Like if that yep. contra district had been a keeper initiate, for instance. Yeah, absolutely. Then you're 100 percent correct. Yeah, but you know the high roll happens. Yeah. Oh, he did forget to use Yusuke again. Yep. It's killer. All right. Well, well he doesn't have to deal with contra district now, so. It, no, and he's first player, and he's got a very easy attack into meditations. Yeah, so, meditations think, error, and uh, Phoenix is yeah, Phoenix is. Can, oh no, he can't uh, display a power. All right, of course. Look, Joe, you're probably the type of person who's like, but I attacked last time and it and it worked. So it must always be true. <laughs> Bit metal discarding Contra District is better than not discarding Contra District. Joe twenty eighteen. Let's make, let, let's let's uh let's let's clip this one. Let's snip this one for sure. This is a good one. All right, cool. 
save this one as conjural quote. All right, just gonna have these ready. Wow. He plays the cloud the mind, and now he can't represent display power. I mean, he he must not have it, right? Like if. Yeah, but you gotta act like you have it. Do you? Right? I don't know. I think you represent spells and let people mistake around them. That's fair. I think at the very least, you let him make his attack, and then you cloud mid conflict, right? Uh, so, so that he's committed. Shiratai and chat. So Shiratai and chat. The the thing is mostly um, it's mostly against keeper clans that discarding face down cards is, is more is more a thing than discarding against seeker clans. Like if if the Phoenix player here was a seeker clan, it's not it's 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 whatever, right? A random card is a random card. A face down card can be is anything. It doesn't matter what you're discarding. Um, the, the, the point is when there's actual negative effects to discarding face down cards, it's not the same as a random card as a random card. That's, that's my point is against keeper claims. Like, you know, every keeper claim, uh, you know, even against unicorn, uh, you discarding cards can, can fuel calorie reserves. Yeah. I never do it against a keeper. I always do it against a seeker. It's, you know, one game in a hundred. I'm going to mill there. Yeah. The game can, the game can go longer. Like, yeah. You might as well. Right. Cause there is no downside, but against the keeper clan or if lion or unicorn was secret, late then, late in the game know? late in the game against keeper clans as the dynasty decks start getting smaller you can kind of parse what is left in their dynasty deck and then you can do it but you know 22 cards in their deck i would not have discarded yep <laughs> in general generalizations are bad man common sense is just not very common So sure, Eric, sure, Eric. That's like your only chance of winning, but it's it's one in it's one in twenty three or whatever, right? Like the chan the chances are there's a higher chance that it's a keeper initiate than it is than it is a conjure district. All right, so we see an attack come out here. We see the skirmisher coverts past the keeper. He's actually attacking a new province. I don't agree with this. Oh, okay, he's gonna covert the prodigy now. Hits public form. Ooh, that's the best hit. He's he's just he just bypasses the shameful display. Yeah, that was nice. That is yeah, I think really what you need. Given, it, given his board, there's no reason to... You could just not fate the Skirmisher, and then you have very easy Meditations attacks. And that's the line I would have taken. But... But this worked out. He gets to gain two. Yeah, so he, he's safe here. Um... Karada District laughing at him right now, you know, not being able to move Cloud the Mind. Alright, hopefully he remembers to use his Shrewdu Suki. <laughs> he's typed it out both times. Like, he's yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's a let go in the Watch Commander now, pre conflict. So that's the second sure. let go. Struman has not found any of his unicorn attachments. No spyglasses, no talisman. He could very easily be sandbagging a talisman. A talisman here would be I'm sick, gonna... right? Talisman on the witch hunter. Yeah, and there hasn't been a lot of good opportunities to use it until now. And talisman so... on the uh, so what's the last province? It is the earth province. Let's so defend the wall. Yeah. I no, uh, Luke. Like, oh, the reprieve, but Luke uh, Widwin is it. <laughs> it could be worse in like teenage edge lord alternate capitals. Yeah, so this is where a talisman could be actually brutal if you defend with the entire team. So he rallies to military. Well, you can't defend the whole team. The problem is he's contesting water here, so the prodigy will restand. Um, well, if you have a talisman... Well, you have, you to, win, you have to win, right? Then you can go to defend the wall yeah. and then stand witch hunter. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, he's, he's blocking with six, right? <laughs> like, he just blocks with one. Well, I mean, so. like, your opponent has cars, right? Like, I think you just want to prevent the break here. The water ring, you know... Actually, you need to defend the Yusuke to activate it, because it's just going to get bowed. If he has a talisman, I think you just block with the team. 
you can talisman over, you are very likely to win the conflict, and then you can watering your... Okay, so he does he does all in defend here. We see the Shurujutsuki actually get used. It's a big win. Now, uh, if he prevents this 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 uh, conflict win, the keeper won't come out here. Right. He needs to be careful. So if 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 uh, Italipi could still break. Oh, you see, charge at Suko. So box comes out, but this is so it'll be you can just break with the court games. So you even have a keeper initiate to prevent the counter court games. Yeah. Uh, Luke, uh, Shuri is 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 worse than Sword Sense solely because of the restriction. But if but like the I think the effect of Shuri is is a stronger effect. I think being able to take any one of two cards is better than taking one attachment in five. Like, you can't whiff... Like, I've whiffed on Swordsmith, right? You can't whiff on Shurujutsuki. Ouch. Interesting that he didn't charge Kasada first action. Yeah, that, that was absolutely... He, has the the first he even has the reprieve. Yeah, and Kasada was active. Yeah, yeah, first, first action if you... First action, if you charge Kasada, you you make them burn in action. Yep. And then you can just Switch. slap the reprieve onto Kasada. Yeah, and now if uh, if Italipi here has a has a now you lose two in court games. Yeah, or a fan, I think five six. No, Crabbox has three strikes. Well, there's a yeah, and there's a Karada. Oh sure, yeah. He doesn't have any fate though, but he's gonna get some fate here. Gonna go for fire, I assume, and then threaten the dishonor on the prodigy. Yeah. The problem is the keeper can just defend this, and uh, we know. Well, we actually we know we know that uh, we know that that Superman has a court games. Yep. So yeah, he could. This is a good attack. He's not gonna win. Like, yeah, you just political fire. Alone. Yeah. You political fire. You eat the void. You you eat the earth ring, and then you hopefully don't lose. Yeah, we have to fight another day. Um. Uh, Joe, I think my current list is twenty-one attachments, which isn't that far off of uh, Cry of Unicorn. The current iteration of test is 21 attachments, yeah. Are you uh, are you are you going to be trying out any cards from the new uh, the new Phoenix pack in Crab jokingly? Uh as it stands, no. <laughs> Not going to try out the keeper Kami? Um I think the keeper Kami's terrible. That's fair. Um I like <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I almost never want to pay two fate and a card for like the ring of my opponent's choice. I just don't see that being a thing. That's I, fair. I would try the secret one if, if that was enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm currently going to be trying it. Uh, I also I just think the Kami in general are, are pretty overrated. I think people kind yeah. of are, are a little up in arms, you know. They're seeing seeing best case scenarios for all these cards, you know, and not taking into effect the, you know, two fate is a lot. <laughs> Two fates a lot. I yeah. never want to spend two fates. There's a reason I mean, that, that everyone's trying to play as many zero cost cards as possible. And, you know, we're yeah. trying to get two two in here. Like, But we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. And then Hida Moro is cool. And maybe one day I'll want to play with him. But, I mean. You know, I, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll let I Joe already, try that one. Yeah, I already can't fit all of the, the three drops in my deck that I want. And <laughs> I'm passing conflicts, so. Yeah. Yeah, um, Se Seeker Kami and Crab could be could be interesting. Okay, so we see. Oh, we see so display of power. Right. No, no, no. So he attacks Earth. Oh, he, he attacks Earth. Court. Yeah, he throws a court games because we know he has two court games. So he throws a court games at the keeper initiate. Um, that gets but it gets censured. Huh. 
And then the crackback, he doesn't. He he must not have a way to honor the prodigy. Yeah. So he just wins the fire conflict. So. Crab lives to fight another. Oh, uh, I think Crab might be dead here. He needs this a talisman. Was a, was a pretty good flop from Phoenix. Though. Well, Phoenix just plays uh, at Suko here and goes void. Yep. And that's you know that's eight eight strength difference. So I think I think he might just be dead on a political void attack here. But we'll see. Um, he needs talisman this one really. He needs talisman here, absolutely. Oh, uh, he has a wave of the crab, so I guess that's not the worst. So he can wave the crab to kill the keeper, and then yeah, but so Atsuko is going to be plus is... three minus four, so it's a seven, a seven strength swing. Yeah. Actually, the uh, the skirmisher can't even compete, so it's plus three minus three. Yeah, zealous persecution. Yeah, good. zealous persecution is a sick card. <laughs> Warrior Poet's a pretty sweet card, it's just, uh, its stats are just not good enough. Uh, if it was like a 3, if it was like a 3, 3, 3, 1, like, like, uh, what's, what's her name, um, Kazue's stats. Like, if she had Kazue's stat line with her ability, she'd be awesome. But that, yep. th but then she wouldn't be a Unicorn card, because they don't have awesome cards. <laughs> oh, other than Border Rider. Border, border Rider is no sick. No, border, border Rider yeah. is sick. Uh, that new guy looks good. Yeah. It's definitely more of what Unicorn needs. I think I think Unicorn needs needs a new stronghold and just you know some better Dynasty cards and some you know some real conflict cards from 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 in Clan other than the attachments. So we see a Watch Commander come out on Mia Satoshi. I don't think it's going to be enough. So on board, no. on board. I would have played political. So you wave the crab, the skirmisher on onto the keeper. Actually, it doesn't matter because the box gets. Actually, the box negates the Atsuko's activation, so it's just plus three. I don't know, maybe maybe he yeah. can defend this. I would have played the Yasuki out of my line, because I think you need, like, you, you just need Talisman here. And so... If well, he doesn't have a holding for him to, to dig for. Yeah, it. but if you, so if you draw a rebuild... Right. Oh sure. It turns it on. Like he, I think he just. Has oh, to actually, play he can Satoshi. Line, he can Satoshi into a potential holding also. Yeah. All right. He, he's Satoshi into storehouse or palace. Not sure what the envoy is doing in this conflict, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, it's gonna go to minus one and then back to zero. Yeah. Eighteen to six. So you can box back up to nine. You can wave the crab to remove two from Phoenix down two. to sixteen, and that's still just yeah. br breaking exactly. Oh yeah, and then the yep. Phoenix box is plus two. So you have to wave the crab and a talisman here. Wave the crab, draw a talisman. Do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> Interesting that he puts the watch commander on Satoshi instead of onto. He should probably policy debate this keeper initiate. Actually, he, yeah, yeah, he's got honor now, so he should policy debate the keeper initiate because we know he has it. Right. He probably should have first action policy debated. What was, it, what was his first action? His first action. Oh, he used Satoshi. Satoshi. Yeah. Yeah, he should, he should be policy debating this this. See, now the keeper's gone. Now you have no good policy debate target. Yep. Talisman one time. Uh oh. So now Idolippi debates him. 
and sees Bonsai and Mountain. Wait, he didn't play the the Spyglass. He must have just drawn it. Oh yeah, yeah sure. From off of the. I think this is. Yeah. I think that's just game, right? There's just no no card you can play. Yeah, that's no, that's gonna sure. be game. Atsuko, Atsuko is just so many stats. Yeah. Uh, we saw the game, you know, Inu versus Mika. Atsuko did the same thing, where Atsuko just on the stronghold, she just does so evil grandma. Evil grandma. Yeah, that was a prodigy of the wave. Just kind of runs away with it, right? Gets you to where yeah, you just need just to be runs you over. You know, crab, crab is one of those clans that they can stabilize, but on the path to stabilizing, if they fall too far behind, it's you know what are, what are we stabilizing towards? Yep. So that is Sruman losing in round 64 for the cup, but he's still alive in the last chance qualifier, which I think he's playing today also. Coming up next, right? Yeah, in uh, in 45 minutes we have uh, Sruman versus Yamaneko. Hopefully, you know. Hopefully the crab, you know, we'll send the crabs to go talk to him, you know, keep, get his spirits up. <laughs> we'll go huddle. T tell him to use Shrewd Yusuke. Yeah. Use Shrewd Yusuke. <laughs> Just dot, jot that down in the notepad. <laughs> you know, have, have, have a notepad open in front of you. Use Shrewd Yusuke. Yeah. It's Jigoku, man. If you don't know, just start clicking on yeah. stuff, right? <laughs> I, I, I definitely, I definitely <laughs> uh, have done that before where I'm like, I don't know, have I activated my swords with click, 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 click? Ah, I must have. Right. Did I meditation? Yeah, did, know, you know, did I manicure right. garden this turn? Let's let's click yeah. it and find out. Yeah. All right, so that's going to be it for this cast here. Uh, we'll see you guys in about 45 minutes. Um, I think there's going to be two streams that are going to be very close to each other. Uh, we have Phoenix Fox's game, and then we have uh, Sruman's game, so we're going to try and get both of them streamed. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, hopefully, hopefully, I think Tenorum said he could, he could, uh, he could stream one, so we'll, we'll try and coordinate. Okay. Alright, cool. Thanks, everyone, for casting, or for hanging around. Uh, we'll see you later on today for more games.